Hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Maypole Farm. Ah, just giving this a bit of a, a bit of a clean, believe it or not, dragging it over that field. Uh, took its toll. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Got enough water on the windows, I can see. So, <laughs> the last time around we found this guy uh, at 90 degrees to his original path and all stuffed against the bush. Well, I have absolutely no idea how he got there. I went back and finished the job off. But the weird thing is, where he was located in the hedge, both the area above him on the field and below were not done. Um, as well as another row down the middle in the lower field. And of course the whole one edge of that field that's kind of got a, a bit of a piece sticking out because it doesn't have the road like the one above it. So in other words, there was absolutely no reason at all for him to be where he was you know because like i said i assumed at first yesterday when we did that that you know he simply got too close to the wall and that was that right next thing you know of course you're getting smacked but that's just that's what i mean there was no reason at all for him to have been anywhere near that particular piece of hedge so i don't know just Another one of those, hi there, I'm the AI, how do you like me so far? I'm an idiot. And yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Long story, well, too late to make short, it's done. <laughs> so now we need to go do some tending, I believe. What do we got? Okay, your pH is bad, so sorry, but I'm not putting lime on a crop that's been in the ground for a week not gonna happen beyond that your nitrogen is okay but one of these fields i'm pretty sure um okay you're just a bit of weird forest uh could it be this guy oh this is one with all the dead weeds no your nitrogen is okay it's not perfect but it's okay again ph is way off the chart uh, you're okay. Hmm. I think it was this oat field, wasn't it? No? Nitrogen's good here as well. Hmm. So where, oh where, has my mini-map gone? Um, were those fields? It wasn't that, it wasn't that. Let's try across the street, although I'm thinking not. Because if not, we're almost ready to call it a day here anyway. Okay, this is what we turned into a giant cornfield. Okay. pH is bad. Have we no- oh, maybe we don't have the numbers on this yet. Ew. Hmm. But either way, I definitely need- let's have a look at our, uh, escapist map, and... Oh no, we did do the run numbers on it, it just turned out to be, well, freaking awful. Okay, uh, hmm. All right, so you've been fertilized. You have not, you have not, you have not. Alright, 
um, line has not been applied, has not, not, and not, or there. Hmm. Doesn't look too far off. It's not great. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So you're telling me that, uh, yeah. See, this is not really telling me if this is good or bad. It's just telling me how much is there. Weird, eh, that there's such a difference? Why so horrible? Because the pH is bad, right? Now, we're sort of... Okay, we're at field 62. Okay, this would have been 63. Okay, a little bit of an improvement towards 64, but it's still not great. And why are there rocks on the field, man? Hmm? There shouldn't be rocks on the field. But it looks like we're going to get to do that, aren't we? And yeah, you're sitting there because we do have spraying to do as well. But we're going to do that after we do the lime. So, let's... Uh, No, you're just, you're too hard on the maintenance and fuel, to be honest with you. This guy could use a little patrol. But other than that, he's not doing bad. Okay, shut her off. Top up the fuel. Hope everybody's doing well today. It is a Saturday morning. Hey, rather chilly Saturday morning here in the uh, beautiful sunshine coast of British Columbia, Canada. And yes, even on uh, chilly, cloudy, rainy mornings, it's still a beautiful place. Okay, we are... Here you are, hiding down in the back, are you? Alrighty. Well, yeah, not a lot in there. Okay. Well, first stop then will be to chunk this up a little bit. So, make my trailer chunky. And the lime go up and the money go down, the farm go round. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't even look, I'm just gonna sit here and sip my coffee. <laughs> Ding! Four to five hundred dollars. Alright. Let's go make use of it before it gets freaking dark, shall we? course, once again, it's one of our biggest fields. But I thought I did this before I plowed it all, to be honest with you. But uh, apparently snot. Okay. Um. Alright. 
Now, there's no real square edges and such here, is there? Yeah, this is pretty much just a turkey shoot. So... Hmm. Actually, the other side is darn near a straight line. Okay, so let's do that. That way I can use the GPS to give me a sort of an indicating starter position. Let's see how it goes. I've gotta remember it's not nearly as fat a line as I would hope. So that might be close. Let's find out, shall we? Alright. I'll go with me now. 18 metres, indeed. Uh, set A. Thank you very much. And drive forward some particular amount. Following the rough plow ruts in the road. Okay, probably far enough. Let's set B. Excellent. What do we got? Well, we got some lines. They don't quite go to the edge, but we got some lines. Jeez. Here's the only place I left trees is right where I got to try and get this started. Oh yeah, this shouldn't take more than about 20 loads. <laughs> Yeehaw! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Indeed. Well, actually, the rate doesn't seem that horrendous. Increasing pH. Alright, how close are we going to get? No, we're right lined up with a pole, aren't we? Oh, dang it. Every single time. <laughs> Just uh. Yeah, I don't like this system I think I would have much rather the Hedges had simply been drive-throughable Instead of this Freaking posts every 20 feet That you can't get past Oh well, I suppose it's no worse than a fence, is it? It's just not as consistent. Let's get a little bit of a headland down here.
Alright. Now let's get back to our regular program. Seems to be a little better coverage on this field than our last one. Although I think the grass field is considerably bigger than this guy. He's a wobbly bugger, isn't <laughs> Should have let some air out of the tires. I'm not sure if that air ride style seat is uh, making it less wobbly for the driver or just accentuating the entire wobblism of it. It's really hard to say. Oh, of course. See what I mean? Every time there's got to be a post, man. Oh, come on, quit turning. I'm trying for three minutes to get it to straighten out. I guess the hill is just so steep in that corner that it wouldn't turn upward. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. It's nowhere near where I want it to be. Thank you. Man, I thought this thing was difficult to back up on the flat. Yikes. more or less done and then we should be able to get back to the up and downs of it. <laughs> uh, even there I got past the tree but guess what I hit? Yep, the post in the hedge. <laughs> Unreal. Oh god. So that's three in a row. <laughs> no matter where the strip ended, there was a post. Oh, God. I've got better than the usual luck with the old RNG, huh? That's why I don't play MMOs that use an RNG for the crafting. I just lose too many materials, man. I'm surprised how long this line is holding out. I mean, I know we got a big tank on here, but still. I wonder why it's leaving those little holes. Weird, eh? I mean, we ran it on GPS, and as you can see, the line actually overlaps a little bit. But still, there's these holes. Hmm. Look at it. A whole perfect line of them down the field. Weird. I'm not going to worry about it. Well, it'll drive me nuts, but... Oh, I know what it is. It's because he's bobbing up and down so much. Look at the edge of the outside line. The way the tractor's tossing up and down. That's what it is. Okay. No problem. I understand completely. It's hard to get a straight edge when you're jumping up and down with a blindfold on, right? Right. Go ahead, go ahead.
Yeah, I'm actually mystified at how we're managing to get so much done with one tank load here. Hmm. I guess it didn't need as harsh an adjustment as the, uh, the grass fields did. Well, that's all right. Now, am I closer to the home farm where I have a silo for this, or am I closer to the other farm where I have a silo? I know at this end of the field I'm closer to our farm. So, I think... Uh, will we get one more down and back? I think so. I don't think we're using 10% per row. Well, this cornfield should be in good shape by the time we can actually get around to planting corn in it. Alright, we're down to 20%. Let's see how far that gets us. Close, eh? <laughs> Gonna be really close. <laughs> we'll just bang against it a couple of times and maybe we'll knock it over. <laughs> we'll have to reset it, like set it all back up again. Poke between the posts, there we go. Go top this up and that should even leave us some um, Those weird flashes, those are only happening in this game. Again, I'm not sure if you guys even see them or if it's a, a visual thing on my end, but yeah, it's only happening in this game. I just looked down and... Uh, as I realized that, yeah, you didn't actually read that, you just pressed, sure, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you know it's not seeds, because it's not the right color, but, 
the rest of it, pretty much guesswork. Yeah. Alright, let's go finish this off. And seeing as it's 5 p.m. in October, <clears throat> that should pretty much can the day as well. It's going to start getting kind of dim pretty soon. Kind of dim indeed. So, let's poke out a wee nosy back through the fence. There we go. Excellent. Oh, we still got a fair chunk of field here, don't we? Okie dokie. Now, the nice thing is... It should be really easy to reset this up. Because... I can follow my old wheel tracks. Yes. Alrighty. And auto width. Oh, it's still got that, eh? Hmm. Why is it going that way? What the heck, man? What? I don't get it. Why is it doing this now? Oh. God, this thing will not back up with that thing on it. Even at two bloody kilometers an hour, it won't do it. Now, why are you pointed over there at all? Hmm? See, why is A way up there? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand it. What the heck is it doing? <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> I just don't get that. But you know what? I don't care. It's in the right spot, sort of. Close enough, man. At least the overlap's in the right direction that when I turn around at the end here, we're not going to leave a three meter wide gap in the spray. So, good enough. Good enough. Do, 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 do. I'm sure whatever was going on with GPS was perfectly normal. I just don't really know enough about the program to go, well, that's not right. Suppose what I should do is run a strip along that side, eh? So I don't have to keep banging into the edge every time we get there.
I was kind of cheaty, but I was taking advantage of the fact that that's the first time we've actually not hit a post going by there. <laughs> so I thought I'd do my best to actually finish the row. pretty much by eye. Although it's a pretty big gap up here, isn't it? Does this thing run full spray no matter how big? Oh, it does, eh? Oh, you horrible thing. You horrible thing. I thought it was like the sprayer where it would only uh, be applying to those sections which required applying. Whoa. Yeah, again, good luck actually getting this thing to do what you want. Come on. Oh, really? Get over there. Well, that's a bloody mess, isn't it? Freak. And then again, big patches that it doesn't do at all. I'm not impressed with that. Believe me. Let's just turn the bloody GPS off. Can you take it that way? No? You just don't care that that patch is there? Fine. <laughs> then I guess I don't either. Yeah, there's a whole section it just doesn't do. And there. Well, what the heck, man? I think that's got to be some kind of bug in the precision farming thing that it's now not reading that there's actually a gap here. You know? Because it won't fill it. Look at that. It's on, but it won't spray anything. How about this piece? There we go. That piece is okay. Huh. That's just weird. See, it's puffing out little bits all over the place. How about if we go completely sideways on it? No, eh? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. There's uh, there's a couple of glitches in the system. <laughs> but, one little run down the edge and we shouldn't have to worry about it. Because that'll be all the Lyman Simon for this year.
Yeah, this just sprays full out, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, that's not great. Oh, look at that. I got a crop that needs harvested. <clears throat> I don't particularly want to do it. It's a rich crop. But I do think that's probably a good time for us to get to the end of this episode. Uh, actually, let me get to the end here. I just want to jump out when we do and have a look at what it says. If it feels the field still needs fertilized. Or what, what the next step will be with our machines here. There we go. Okay. Hmm. I guess it won't set nitrogen levels if you don't have a crop in the ground. So... Not much we can do about that. So I guess this will stay a nice frosty white until uh, such time as we actually get it planted. So there you go. Alright folks, hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. There are links in the description below to some other cool channels. Take care of each other, and ciao.